Hey there YouTubers, alright so uh, overview of the Gigabyte Z790 UDAC. Now I have uh, bought God, at least 15 to 20 12th gen LGA 1700 motherboard. So we're going to kind of give you my thoughts on this motherboard. And I've bought a lot of the uh, Gigabyte UD line before in the past. I've got to say, folks, this one looks uh, way better than any of the previous ones that I've seen. So, you know, this one, uh, DDR5, so that is that is an improvement. Uh, occasionally, there's, you know, the UD or the UD AC, right? So this one's got Wi-Fi, where if it doesn't have the AC on it there, it is uh, the regular version. Uh, they have improved the VRMs in this thing, the power stages. you got 16 plus one plus one there. Uh, in case I didn't mention, this is uh, supports 12th and 13th gen. LAN is going to be a 2.5 gigabyte one, so I uh, improved over some of the previous UD line that were uh, one gig. So let's take a uh, actual look at some of the pictures that are provided. There we go. So, a lot of PCIe slots here, right? This is pretty awesome. Of course, you got the armor plated one here, and you have three other full size plus two of the smaller ones. This is actually laid out decently because you could get a, we'll say, a large graphics card, RTX 3090 you know 4090 in here and probably still be able to uh, use this slot now since this has Wi-Fi built into it uh, these are not as important you know as they might have been now, of course you can add a additional USB 3.0 card uh, you wouldn't need a Wi-Fi card unless your Wi-Fi stops working for adding additional M.2's you would need one of these full-size slots and so that makes you wonder where is all of the uh, the M.2s on this thing, right? Well, conveniently they were able to put two in here and one here. And I don't know if there's any on the underside of this, but uh, three, you know, is a pretty good number. I've I've seen some other boards with four, uh, which I personally have. And then yesterday, uh, one of the higher end Z790s had five on it, so. Uh, if you really need that many drives, you know, and as a, as a gamer, uh, you think, well, God, I keep filling up one drive, um, and you want to add to it. And you don't necessarily want to add, you know, hard drives. Um, you know, you could go out and buy a bigger SD, um, bigger M.2 NVMe, go from, you know, one terabyte to two terabyte, or you could, you know, when you have five of them, you just keep adding to it, right? All right. Here is your uh, socket. Um, of course, those of you not familiar with how they're doing things here, uh, this is a little different than LGA 1151 and 1200 as far as how uh, this opens. Uh, you'll pull this lever and then this actually pivots about here instead of uh, pivoting back here. Two 1x8 CPU power connectors. So this thing is uh, set up for some serious overclocking. Now, looking over this way, CPU fan, CPU optional, and a set of RGB and ARGB over here. Of course, here's your DDR5 RAM sockets. And for those of you new to building computers, uh, you'll want to put them in A2 and B2. Right, so um, you would almost why is that done, folks? Well, a lot of times you may have a CPU cooler that overhangs or may even interfere with this first slot. So uh, they have picked basically these two for your uh, if you're going to just do one pair of RAM. Of course, if you got four sticks, you would fill all all those out. Right, 24 pin PSU connector here. You know, standard, nothing different here from previous generation so 
if you're upgrading, you know, and you've got a decent power supply, you're, you are uh, set from that aspect. A couple of system fan headers here. So we're at least uh, at two of those. A third system fan header up here. And a fourth one here. So unless I missed it, there are uh, four system fan headers and one uh, basically one case fan or CPU fan header and an optional one. Moving over to this area, USB 3.2 header, USB Type-C header here, and you're going to use this if your case has uh, that on the front of it. Some of the motherboards you'll see two of these. I have yet to see a case that, uh, that has two Type-C headers, but uh, I definitely have seen cases that have two USB 3.2s. Now this motherboard does not support having uh, more than two USB uh, 3.2s on it. Moving down, six SATA connectors. CMOS battery here, of course. Um, I don't know if this one has a reset button. Q flash plus. There may, yeah, reset switch. So uh, this is going to clear your CMOS. If you have this, you know, normally in the past you may have pulled out your battery. Uh, if you had problems with it booting into BIOS, uh, this one appears to have the the reset switch there, so you don't have to screw with that. Here's your front panel connectors uh, to include the speaker one. So of course, power LED, power switch, reset switch, and uh, HDD plus uh, the speaker should be right here. There was the fan header we already talked about. Two USB 2.0, so. This is good if you uh, your case you know has uh, at least one USB 2.0, and then of course if you have a PCIe card that requires USB, let's say the Wi-Fi on this thing stops working, you add a PCIe card that does Wi-Fi, you would use one of these USB slots. ARGB RGB again, com HD audio. That's going to come from your case. And folks, that is going to do it from this side. Let's uh, let's look at the IOs. Let me get this to back out of here. So I'm kind of curious now that we've looked at this if it does have any other SSDs. Sometimes these things are stacked. Um, it's more commonly in ITX, but. I would expect this to be one of Gigabyte's cheapest motherboards for Z790, if not the cheapest, right? The only one cheaper is going to be the one that doesn't have Wi-Fi. Um, all right. They usually call those things out. So let's look at one last photo here. There we go. Ugh, why do they have this? So every time I complain about why they have it, somebody will, you know, go, I still use those, but, uh, you know, I'd rather have another HDMI on here. So, the old PS2 style for your keyboard, mouse, USB 2.0, 2.0, so four of those. Here is your Wi-Fi 6, USB 3.2, these look like Gen 1, so you got four of those. Display port, HDMI, Type C, a USB 3.2. Uh, this should be a Gen 2, but it also may be um, for BIOS update as well. I don't see it listed on that thing. Here's your 2.5 gig. And then we have microphone, line out, line in, right? So, or headphone. There you go, folks. That is the overview of this here. Gigabyte Z790UD.